Hello Satnam, it's me Shakti Sundari and um, I'm just back from a beautiful day out with my beautiful daughter Rose um, in London and looking forward to, to doing today's reading with you. So um, how do I want to start this? Oh gosh, um, I think I was speaking about the powerful times that we're in between full moon and a new moon and the uh, two eclipses and the 888 stargate and um, powerful, powerful times that we're in. So really feeling that and really grateful for um, an incredibly powerful healing that a friend gifted me yesterday. So still in the integration of that I am. So today's Yukti verse is Yukti verse 84 and um, there's a bit of a theme going on with these ones of the last few days and this follows the theme of um, expanding our awareness to the knowing that we are not separate, that we're all connected and that there's a common spark of the divine that flows through all of us and this this yukti verse today is very much on that same theme so yukti verse 84 <clears throat> from the vijnana bhairava tantra so here's the sanskrit svavat anya sharire api samvitim anubhavayet apeksham sva sharirasya tyaktva vyapi tenai bhavet and I'll read it again. Hi, Al. Svavat anya sharira api zam fitim anu bavayet apeksham svasharirasya tyaktva vyapi tenai bavet. And here's the translation Extend your awareness into the bodies of other living beings. Feel what those others are feeling. Leave aside your body and its needs. Abandon being so local. Day by day, constrictions will loosen as you become attuned to the current of life flowing through us all. Mm. So the the tenor of this verse and the theme of this verse, like I said, is once again very much about expanding beyond the sense of our individual finite selves and expanding our awareness out to become aware that, that we are one with everything and everyone around us. So it's a practice of extending out. <clears throat> and as I read through this, though, there are other things that that um, arise for me, um, which I'm just going to, to talk about. So extend your awareness into the bodies of other living beings. So, you know, that could bring up for us um, a resistance of a feeling like we would be imposing, um, battery went low, imposing ourselves into somebody else's space or, um, yeah, overriding a personal boundary of somebody's because we are all energy and we are all energy beings. So for me, there's a sense of asking permission to do that, to feel into somebody else's body. It's quite a personal thing. And at the same time, actually, it's something that I'm doing quite naturally a lot of the time anyway um, as an empathetic person and somebody who's um, kinesthetic um, and a feeling empath so and particularly when I'm working with clients I can feel their sensations inside my own body so I'm doing that a lot unconsciously I suppose and sometimes intentionally anyway um, but also feel what 
those others are feeling. And there's a difference here and a distinction it's really important to make, which is between projecting our feelings onto somebody, which is very common and happens a lot, and actually just extending our awareness out and our sensory awareness out so that we do genuinely feel what somebody else is feeling. And that's, there are two different things, and sometimes I think people confuse the two. So it's really good to be aware of the difference between projection, which is when we put our feelings onto somebody else, and the capacity to actually sense and feel what somebody else is feeling, which is um, a very neutral uh, use of your awareness and your sensing. So there's no um, making up of a story, it's just listening really, it's listening with your sensory awareness. Leave aside your body and its needs. Abandon being so local. So there's something else there about how when we become so self-obsessed and self-focused all the time, um, we can lose sight of the bigger picture. I know, for example, when sometimes I get really caught up in my own stories and my my own life and things that are going on for me and I might begin to think something's really terrible and really bad and then when I just expand my awareness out and take in what's happening for others I suddenly are, um, am made aware again of course that what's happening for me is just part of a bigger picture and or not half as bad as I thought it was so leaving aside your own body and its needs abandon being so local is also a brilliant invitation to to gain perspective. And then as we do this, says the verse, day by day, constrictions will loosen as you become attuned to the current of life flowing through us all. So then on another level, simply by keeping that awareness out and sensing what's around you and making that a daily practice, um, an awareness will then arise of how we are all sparks of the divine, of how life is flowing through us all, of how we are all simply expressions, unique expressions of the divine. Um, what did I want to say about that? There was something else that came up for me. Yeah. Oh, which is this, which is, you know, that's one side of it and on the other hand, as energy beings, we can also um, absorb the energy of others and be affected by the energy of others. Um, so it's good to be very aware of what you're doing with your energy. So, so often people are throwing their energy around without any awareness whatsoever, um, but it's having a big impact on the space or those around them. And... Uh, Part of the, the healing that I had yesterday was about bringing my energy back into my own being and clearing it. And um, it's really interesting because when we are intimate with, with people, we absorb their energies and aspects of their auric field. Um, so it's really good to be mindful also about what energies we bring into our space and particularly into our bodies. Um, the other thing I just want to say about this is again, you know, each of these is a daily practice, but you know, this could be a practice that you do for a year to really, really understand it in depth and to really, really get with it, you know, because it's, it's another profound one. Extend your awareness into the bodies of other living beings. Feel what others are feeling. Leave aside your body and its needs. Abandon being so local. Day by day, constrictions will loosen as you become attuned to the current of life flowing through us all. So this might be a good one to practice when you're on the tube or the underground or you're in a busy office. I know personally I can often find those kinds of experiences really challenging um, and overwhelming unless I'm in a really clear and protected space. But if I were to take the focus off how awful it's feeling for me to be in a small space with all these people around me and just extend my awareness out and allow 
uh, it might create a very, very different experience for me. So it's another one to have a go with and um, really love to, to hear from you if you try it, what your experience is. Thanks for being with me. Lovely to see you there, Al. Lots of love to you. Satnam and um, join me again tomorrow for the next reading from the Radiant Sutras.